While a lot of what we see at the White Sands Missile Range celebrates incredible technology in the advancement of science in aerospace and space exploration, some of it's also a terrible reminder of our dark history. This is one of those artifacts. This is a bomb casing for a fat man style nuclear weapon. This is the weapon that was deployed against the second nuclear strike in World War II against the Japanese city of Nagasaki. Estimates suggest 70,000 people were killed in the attack, but the U.S. justified the attacks by saying that they avoided what would have been an inevitable invasion of the islands of Japan that would have resulted in many more casualties. It was a dark page in history for everyone concerned, but many people argue that this was a strategic necessity in bringing about an end to World War II. It's somewhat ominous to stand next to this. This is an empty casing. The actual bomb weighed 10,800 pounds, so it was a massive warhead that was deployed by a B-29 Super Fortress bomber. It somewhat fittingly sits out here in the middle of the desert. Neglected, kind of pushed off into this ditch. It's sort of stuck in the sand back here. It doesn't reside in a museum, and there's no shrine built to honor it. Because realistically, when you look at a weapon like this, it's really kind of frightening to consider what it had to do in order to bring an end to World War II. But it's truly something to see. It's kind of humbling to see it and to be able to touch and feel it. And you can't help but think that we look forward to the day when we never will need weapons like this once again. And all of them are sitting out here in the middle of the desert as artifacts that maybe one day will be completely forgotten. I'm Tom Demerley from TheAviationist.com.